What's going on, my incredible people? Just Incredible here with another incredible review. And if you don't like my corny intro, go boop yourself. Pick this bad boy up at Target. We are going to open him up, take a look, see if it's worth it. This is your manga spawn. First one that I've ever seen. So, let's crack this bitch open, shall we? All right, it's time to cut it open. As I've already done, I almost started to remove it, but then figured I'd show y'all out there in TV land what it looks like in the packaging. It's really hefty. I like the amount of accessories that came with it. No card, but you do get that little peg holder in this box. Yeah, get it the hell out of here. All right, back to the figure. So here he is, he's pretty big. Not as big as like the Titan Joker. Here he is from the back. You can see his little cape hanging out there. Turn him back around here and we have the accessories. Let's clip this shit up out of here. Stay tuned. Then here he is in his A pose. Looking real heroic. Got all of his accessories attached. See his little hip knives. See his little shoulder pads. You see the wrist blade. On the other side, you got the necroplasm shield. And then on his back with three peg holes, it's kind of elongated. You have all three weapons from the sword. Got this little cleaver weapon here, uh, the cloth cape. And the third one is his like lance type of thing. I think it's for jousting. I don't know. But uh, looks really solid. It's a pretty solid pick. Uh, I like it. Stay tuned. So here he is, out of the box, hoo ya. This is gonna be your manga spawn. Price on this guy, 40 bucks. Then you can pick him up at uh, target.com or Target. I pre-ordered him, but happened to be out shopping, saw him, so I scooped him up. Um, about this character, didn't really know much about him. I don't think he's in any of the comic books. I think he's just a toy. But uh, as you see, he can stow all of his weapons on his person, I like that. So he's got his two hip blades. They just peg into two side holes. You've got his wrist blade. It goes in, disconnects. I'll go over that. Also got his necroplasm shield. Got this little movable. I haven't tried to remove it yet because I don't want to break it, but it does have a lot of free rotation. Then back here, I have his three large weapons. So he's got his sword, this like clay made, this like, I don't know, this cleaver, and then this lance. Then he's got the cloth good capes. Next up, I'm going to go over the reviews of the accessories. Y'all stay tuned. Ooh, y'all. And here he is. Disarmed. I'm going to take a look at uh, his artillery here. Or lack thereof, his armor. Let's start with the sword. It's kind of flimsy. Yeah, it's kind of flimsy. But, I mean, that's to be expected. It's not going to be too hard. I kind of like, like the green. The green hues of it. I really just don't like this big circle, this big peg hole. I get it. It's to help store it on his back. There it is. That's his sword. Like I said, I don't know much about this figure. I just know I wanted it because it looked tight. Even though it looks like a big blue transformer, it just looks like something out of the 90s. That's straight my era. So there it is. For comparison, that's how big it is next to the figure. And then next up, we have this mecha futuristic cleaver looking <laughs> <laughs> but uh same thing it's got that hole right there it's it's a little bit it's a little bit more durable a little bit more durable this is like one of those things on like soul caliber you <laughs> but um you take a look at the sculpting and the detail that's his handle right there not much paint apps just green and gray basically and then here's your little axe here this is more of the power axe like the blue ranger <laughs> Anyway, once again, plagued with that hole in the middle. Like, I wonder if you can just, like, cut that off and then it just looks like that. That'd be pretty badass. But once again, it's not really... It looks like the hilt of a lightsaber, but... Here you are right there. See the details? Same thing on the other side. Then the hilt, pretty much the same. All right. What the hell is this? No, so... Ah, uh, look, they got it on the right side. <laughs> so this was his, um... This was the blade that was in his wrist, but the reason why I'm mad is because this was supposed to be green. When you look on the back of the packaging, 
this was green. He even said in his little interview, hey everybody, Todd McFarlane here. Um, we were gonna go with the uh, gray, but um, I decided I wanted to go with the green, you know. I'm telling you, that dude has lost it. <laughs> uh, I like this one. Like I said, I would never have the, I would never have him hold this because then he's got this big peg right there. It just looks so ugly. Like it looks cool when it's stowed on him, you know, but you are right there. The camera zooms in, the detail, there's his handle. And then there's that big ass peg. Oh, look at that. It has like an L on there. I just determined it based on like the cut of the blade. So if that's the case, I would imagine this has an R. Yep. Oh, he took time to put the R and L on there because we that stupid, Todd. Got you. And then here's like another little blade that he carries. All right. Let's see how they all fit inside of his hand. Y'all stay tuned. We're back. We got his shield and his sword. Zunamayoto. Zunamayoto. I have no idea what I was saying. I was just like manga spawn, whatever. He looks more like medieval spawn to me. Back, Dice Winch. Dost thou know me? Eh, he can hold it. He didn't really take too much to put it. Most people heat up the hands and stuff like that. I didn't really have to. He just kind of wiggles it in. Just wiggle it in. But uh, this is him if he's got his... Uh, his little power shield and his power sword. Looks like it'll cut a motherfucking Megazord in half. Sha! All right, let's see here. Let's disarm him right here. Let's, let's, let's be real time here. Give me a second. Now, stay tuned. And here he is with his big cleaver. Man, I tell you, the one thing that this needs is butterfly joints. Because when you got a weapon like this, I mean, I know this guy's huge, but, uh, this is basically big enough for one hand. You try to put it in this hand and it just stretches. It's not really. So buyer beware, like you can finagle it into there like that. Kind of pulls it up, but it's just not going to look right. I'm sure you can get it into like a, you can, you, you can, you can probably get into it. But over time, like, look, it's going to like warp. It look like stream, like, no, no bueno, bruh, no bueno. In the famous words of a really good friend of mine, I, I don't want it. I, I, I don't want it. <laughs> Shout out to Lindsay. So like, yeah, uh, I don't. I feel like these are just more so meant to just stow on his, on his back. Like, you can probably get some good poses out of it, but it's just not. It's not long enough. Let's take that off. It's really, really flimsy. I mean, forty dollar figure. I still don't mind. I like the fact that I don't have to use a little. There we go. There we go. I knew he was missing something. I don't necessarily need this. You probably might want to use it if you want to get him into some dynamic posing, but let's face it, like, nobody has space for all that. I don't anyway. I'm supposed to go over there. the main meat and potatoes. Same thing would be with this power lance. Let's get it inside the member, the figure's hand. Let's get it. get it in there. Little Y2K jelly. But anyway, all right. Uh, I really like how this figure feels. Like, he's got like some heft to it. Nowhere near as good as the Violator. Like, that's still to me his most recent best $40 figures. Uh, coming in second would definitely be Swamp Thing and the uh, Titan Joker. See, this one looks kind of cool, but. Looks more like a joust. So like, uh, is that what this is? Like, but remember, this is supposed to be manga spawn. Everything about him is screaming medieval. Like, <laughs> what the fuck, Todd? This is not. This is medieval. I'm sorry. This is medieval spawn. Like, look, look. To the knights of the round table, I stand the knight. <laughs> look at <laughs> you. What the fuck, Todd? So there you go. My first broken toy. Let's see if we can put that back on. <laughs> okay, it slots in. But still. Okay, that's, 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 uh, I don't like that shit. I don't like that shit at all. This is a nice little rubbery plastic. So I was trying to bend his knee to make him bend the knee. This looks like it socks in, you know, like lodges in, but I don't want to have to go through that. No, hell no. This is, this is my first encounter with something like that. Look at that. So, no. 
No, no, no. Don't buy me. Do not buy this. This is going back to Target tomorrow because. Ugh. That, that is. That's not cool. So, as you see, that's what it looked like when it came off. This is real time on camera, too. Never happened, but it looks like the, it's a double jointed. Yeah, it is because you can see the little peg hole right there. So, that bends as well. So, it looks like it was meant to have good articulation, but. I mean, how the hell are you supposed to do that now? Yeah, you could super glue, but I didn't spend forty dollars to do your fucking job and super glue this shit. Like, so this right here, Rob, if you're watching, you right. Like, his old stuff, I'm sure it was much better than this because this is the first McFarlane uh, figure that I've ever had that broke. So I can put this on on mine. I don't even know if I want to finish the damn review. <laughs> the show must go on. The show must go on. <laughs> All right, well, we'll just call him One Leg Gimpy. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, shit, what the fuck is going on here? If you still want to buy this piece of shit, there, that locks in like that. Look, he cut his own fucking leg off. Amputated himself. Fucking jackass. Yeah, these knives, they go right there. So... I don't even want to finish doing this. I was digging the figure until that just happened. That's why I didn't want to really move this. Um, I'm going to say buy at your own risk. If you buy this, get it from Target because, um, you know, you'll be able to take it back. Like I'm taking, I don't even feel like I should, uh, you know what I say? Anything, anything wrong with it, sir? Yeah, it's a piece of shit. <laughs> I remember uh, <laughs> it was the episode of The Simpsons. And he took his shoes back. He was like, wait a minute, what happened here, sir? My dog brought these to me and they fell apart in his mouth. I I can't recommend this. I I was all I was about to. I'm glad that happened. That's why I like to move it around. You know, you just never know, man. That fucking sucks. Especially say say I did order this. Say you got the signature version, fucking $80. And then this shit happens. Fuck your signature, nigga. I want this shit to work. What the fuck? Get him out of here. Who ya? Well, final thoughts. Kind of sucks, man. Thought this was going to be kind of like a good figure. What I'm going to do is some low down shit, but it's not low down. There was only two of them in the store, too. So I'm going to go to my Target, get another one, because it could be this figure's default. Defective, correction. Sorry, been sipping on that, Josh. But so far, I can in all good conscience recommend it. If that didn't happen, though, I would have because uh, it was a really nice figure. But I mean, what are you gonna do, right? So until next time, who ya?